Time for a weekly update. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today we've got for you another edition of Zachtober with a weekly update. So we are going to be talking about what I'm currently reading, what I've just finished, some book mail, and a book that I am excited to try and get into soon. Uh, typically there's also like book news, but there's nothing really going on at the moment, so no need. Uh, but yeah, we'll have this link down below. Uh, also don't forget to check out in the description box all the cool social media stuff we're on. We got TikTok, we got Twitter, we got Instagram. Been trying to be more on top of posting stuff, so check out all that stuff and uh, also don't forget to like comment subscribe and uh, let's get into some books I'm currently reading all right so if you hear the laundry going on in the back which it might be ending soon so you might hear like a beep 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 uh, it's laundry day so yay uh, but yeah let's get into what I'm currently reading and the first book I'm currently reading I'm not gonna tell you because it's as you guys have seen thus far with the shining and pet cemetery that I am doing some rereads of some Stephen King books and we got next week's already done, but I'm in the midst of reading the next one, which will be on, I think the 29th is when that one will be posted. It's the very last one. A lot of you guys have had guesses since Pet Cemetery with which one it's going to be. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think the last two are going to be. Um, one of them is going to be a big surprise, and one of them, not as much. Um, but could be wrong. Both of them could be a surprise. Uh, yeah. Uh, so let's get into the other book I'm currently reading. And that is The Haunted Mask by R.L. Stein, otherwise known as the PG-13 rating of Stephen King, in my opinion. Um, so I'm currently trying to read some Goosebumps books, and I've already read a couple of them, which you'll see here in a second. Uh, I currently am on The Haunted Mask. I'm not that far into it, about 20 pages or so. Uh, so far, it's been okay. I'm listening to it on audiobook and trying to follow along as well. Um, well, not trying, I am. Um, but, I don't know, I don't, the narrator for this one's kind of annoying to me. But, it's whatever. Uh, this is a creepy story, and obviously I saw the TV episode way back when, and freaked me out then. A lot of people have this as, like, their favorite Goosebumps book, and... Let me see if it ends up being one of my top dogs. So that's what I'm currently reading. The Haunted Mask, Arl Stein, and a mystery book that you're not going to find out what it is until October 29th. All right, now I'm going to talk about books that I've read this past week, uh, which I've got three of them I'm going to show you, and I'm going to tell you the star ratings for them. The first one is If You See Her by Anya Alborn. This was in a recent reads, which was posted also earlier this week. If you have not seen that, check it out up here. It's a very fun video with a lot of good books. So, this book got five stars. My all-time favorite Anya Auburn book is still Brother. It's such a good story. I'm going to put this pretty close with The Shuddering, in my opinion. Both were five-star reads. It's, it's a top dog for Anya Auburn, in my opinion. So, yeah. It was a really good book. Highly recommend it. Starts off quick, and, like, it just goes. And it's such a good story. Um... But yeah, no, check it out down below, because it's really solid. So, yeah, there you have If You See Your Brian Yalborn. And now let me show you the other two books I got here. All right, the next two I've got are Goosebumps books. The first one is Welcome to Dead House, and the second one is Stay Out of the Basement. These do not have the numbers on the side. These actually came in a metal container. I think Danielle got me for a birthday last year or something like that. Um, there's three box sets, and they all had five books in them. Uh, she got me all three of them, yay. And these ones were in there, that's why they're in such good condition, but they do not have the numbers on the side. So, Welcome to Dead House is his first, I don't know if it's his first published book, but it's his first Goosebumps original series book. And ironically enough, Stay Out of the Basement is his second. So I read both of these guys back to back. Both of them are really solid stories. I think Dead House was better, uh, but Stay Out of the Basement was still a really good story. I liked them both. I remember watching this one on my VHS at when I was a child. Really creepy and eerie story. And then Dead House, also really creepy. So both of them, I think I ended up giving them both five stars. Uh, no, maybe. I don't know. Check out Goodreads down below. But 
Both of them really solid. Dead House was just a little bit better. All right, next up is some book mail. Both of them are book of the month picks. The first one is Everything We Don't Say by Nicole Bart. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is the thriller pick of the month. And as you guys know, I really like going into thrillers blind and really not wanting to know a whole lot about them. Um, typically I get those as Danielle recommendations. This one we both kind of seemed intrigued with, but I just want to try and keep it as vague as possible. Uh, it kind of seems, I mean, there's a house in the background. It seems like it's going to be a creepy, eerie tale. I don't know if it's going to be like a haunted house, but just seemed kind of eerie and seemed like the right move. So that brings me to the second book we picked, and that is The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell. So I've read a Lisa Jewell book before, and I think it was... The Family Upstairs, I didn't like it as much, but I'm willing to give her another chance. Uh, as you know, I've done that before with Alex North. Didn't go as well uh, the second time around. Maybe a third one. Probably not, but who knows. Uh, but yeah, this is... Uh, it's another riveting novel about an intricate web of people whose lives are forever changed in the wake of a young couple's disappearance. And the first name that stands out to me in the thing here says Zach. That's me. Only they spell it wrong. Um, but yeah, cover also looks really cool. You kind of get like this pool looking vibe. And, you know, both of them look really nice. Really cool looking covers. I like the whole like pool aspect with this one in the house with this. So, very cool additions. Only thing I don't like about this month is there's no bottom on the top. But. What are you going to do? Uh, but yeah, no, these are uh, the two books that I got in the book of the month mail. So there you have what I got recently. And the last book I'm going to talk about is kind of like a two-for-one deal. Because it's something that we did get, but it's also the next book that I would like to read. And that is Pearl by Josh Mallerman. So the little blur on the inside of this is intriguing. Um, the New York Times bestselling author Bird Box and Mallory comes the legend of a strange new monster unlike any other in horror. Uh, by what Danielle has told me, it seems to be some kind of, like, pig thing. I don't know if it's like a pig human or just a pig, but I'm very intrigued with this, and I for sure want to read this. So, don't know if I'll have this featured in, like, a Zocktober video, but... I would like to give this a chance and give it a read because I like a lot of things that Mallerman has written so far. Bird Box, Goblin, Mallory, all that fun stuff. So, yeah, very excited for this one. Uh, there you have what I'm hoping to read next and another thing I got in the mail, Pearl. All right, so this is my weekly reading update for, well, this week, obviously. Uh, and if you guys are wondering where The Shining is, like I said previously with Zocktober, with how big it is, I had to read stuff ahead of time, so technically I didn't read The Shining this week, so couldn't put it on here, but if I did, five stars, absolute phenomenal book. You guys saw that video yesterday or the day before, depending on when we put this up. But yeah, again, we'll have these linked down below, uh, and also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you've gotten lately or what you've been reading lately, because I'm intrigued to know. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode of Zocktober. Later. Mm.